This year's property valuation assessments are complete. And the deadline to protest them is coming up. Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson spoke with a Lincoln man who created a website to help you if you do want to protest. She joins us now in the studio. Mackenzie. Gordon Smith is a software developer, so he put his skills to work and created a website with data from nearly 100,000 properties in Lancaster County. So uh, when you land on the page, you just hit uh, search a property and then here you need to put your property ID in. Gordon Smith says he and his wife received an estimate on what their property was valued at earlier this year. But when they got the final assessment, it was double that number. Immediately, he wanted to find a way to protest the assessment. The thing that always annoys me when I see these is the assessors going, here's the evaluation, here's what we've picked for you. If you don't like that, come to us with better data. But by the way, we have the better data and you've got to figure out how to find it. So I finally just said, I give up. I'm just going to make it. Smith compiled public records for as many properties as he could, mainly focusing on homes. Then he created a website for people to search their own property. Uh, this brings up, so this is all the recent sales compared to this address, and I just picked one at random. The website will take into account the type of home you have and find similar homes nearby you to compare recent sale prices to your property valuation. If you want to protest your assessment, you can take the information to the county clerk. To be successful, the more information you have, the better you can make your case. Our goal in assessor's office is to value property as close to market value as, as we can get. If there's something we've missed, uh, by all means bring it to the referee's attention. Smith says he compared this year's countywide evaluations to previous years. He found that the total increase in property value for the whole county in the previous five years was between 1.2 and $2.7 billion every year. But this year, the properties he collected data on increased in value by nearly $7 billion total. The county clerk did confirm that they are seeing a higher number of valuation protests this year, but they say it fluctuates yearly based on the types of properties that are assessed. Smith says originally he was collecting the data for himself and a couple of friends, but he decided to put it all up for anyone to use for free. There's definitely a lot of people trying it all of a sudden. Um, I'm glad it's still standing and it hasn't fallen over yet. Um, I, don't, I don't think it will. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> Smith's website is LancasterPropertySearch.com and we also have that in this article on our own website, KLKNTV.com. If you want to pro protest your property valuation, it's due to the county clerk by June 30th. All right, Mackenzie Johnson with our top story tonight. Thank you very much.